Welcome back to our study of the fundamentals of operating systems based on the textbook Operating System Concepts, 10th edition by Silbershots, Gagney, and Galvin, published by Wiley Publishing. We're in the process of discussing the memory management system of an operating system. And recently we have been discussing how the operating system allocates memory to the jobs that are loaded. We started off by discovering that uh, initially operating systems were set up in such a way that a job had to be loaded into contiguous memory locations. It couldn't be spread around the system. It all had to be together in groups, in blocks. Now we're discussing the current modern form of memory management in operating systems. It's called paging where the jobs are divided up. The instructions that make up the jobs or the data that make up the jobs are divided up into smaller units referred to as pages which are logical units that represent the job. And those pages are then loaded into memory addresses and these memory addresses are referred to as frames. So that's what we've been discussing in the last lesson. Let us pick up where we left off. Here we see a representation of the steps for generating an instruction for processing. As we've already determined, there are some number of instructions in each page, and there would be a page table for each running job. The pages in the page table are ordered by page number from zero to whatever, depending upon how many pages it takes to make up that job. Let's represent the number of pages in the job as n, and we'll start with page 0 and we'll go to page n minus 1. The page number is used as an index into the page table as you can see here. As you can also see, the CPU generates an address. The offset represents the position of the instruction within the page. What our authors are describing in this section of our text is one general view of the sequence of events that takes place when the CPU loads a job. It stores the job's instructions in memory and executes one instruction of the job or the process. The terminology being used may vary from one operating system to another and one researcher to another. For example, I've known authors to use the term displacement instead of offset to refer to that location of that instruction within the page. Whether offset or displacement, this is the number of addresses down from the beginning of the page frame to the address needed to retrieve the current instruction. Now why did I say page frame? There's some important points we must keep in mind and it won't hurt us to go over some of this information one more time. The job being run must be loaded into physical memory. And the goal of the paging approach is to break the job into smaller pieces to overcome the need to load it entirely in one contiguous memory location. As we have seen, each piece of the job is called a page. Now as our authors have pointed out, a page is logical. It is simply a subset of the instructions that define one job. So, as the job is being read from storage, the instructions are being organized into pages starting from page 0 to page n minus 1, where n is the number of pages in the job. The logical page must be loaded into physical memory. Remember, physical memory, RAM, is addressable so the CPU can specify a specific memory address to use. So how should we deal with putting these logical pages into some collection of physical addresses? The solution is to create a physical structure that consists of some number of these addressable memory locations. And while we're at it, why not make these physical structures called frames the same size as those logical pages? Actually, the task is probably done the other way around, where the page is determined by the size of the frame. 
The CPU determines the number of addresses that will make up a frame and then uses the same size to make up pages. In some cases, the developer may use a physical size that's already being used, such as the sector, which is a unit of storage on the disk, as we've already discussed. Whatever the case, now we have two units. We have logical pages, and we have physical frames. Both hold the same set of instructions of the job. Therefore, the statement page slash frame that I gave a few minutes ago. The page table contains two columns, the base address of each frame in physical memory and the location of the instruction within the frame being referenced. Therefore, the base address of the frame is combined with the page offset and displacement to define the physical memory address of the instruction. The operating system now has the address of the instruction to be run. The paging model is illustrated in this figure shown here. On the left is a representation of the pages in the job from page 0 to page 3. Let's assume for a moment that the job has 350 instructions and a page will hold 100 instructions. So you can see in this image that instruction 86 would be in page 0 with an offset of 86. The instruction 225 would be located in page 2 with an offset of 25. This is uh, 0 to 99. This is 100 to 199. This is 200 on. You can also see that the last page, page 3, only has 50 instructions, leaving some internal fragmentation. In the center is the page table, or page map table as some authors call it, ordered from pages 0 to 3. This is where the CPU would be able to switch from using the logical address to the physical address. Here is the physical address. Remember, this is not the only job running. Also, physical memory will have more than four frames. Those frames that you see empty may not really be empty. We're just representing this one job. There could be other jobs. The page map table shows you the page number. It shows you the physical address where that page can be located. So as a result, page 0 is located here at physical address 1. Page 1 is located at physical address 4. Page 2 is located at physical address 3. And page 3 is located at physical address 7. Well, that was a good lesson. Let's take a break here, take a few minutes to review the material that you just saw, update your study guide, and when you're ready, come on back and we'll continue with some more on paging.